Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 or War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our beloved no shot or no bullet wasted run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without shooting a single shot and that also goes of course for explosives and heavy weapons. None of that will be in here. We're only going to use uh, anything but that which is really not that much. It's melee and psionics pretty much. Uh, today we're going to go into Operation Half uh, dead gaze it's towards the middle of month number two uh, we're doing fine uh, but we need alloys and we need to win this mission as we're as you can see on alarium and alloys a little bit behind also a bit short of on engineers but we're eventually uh, going to get there now a couple of things number one a lever here is uh, very much wrongly color-coded he is one of our rangers. We got a couple of uh, those and we're going to use rangers and um, and hogbite mainly. Renman is gonna jump in as well. Hogbite is tired. We gotta give the man a little bit of rest, but unfortunately that's not going to work. He just has to continue um, working with us. Uh, can't build anything, we're short on supplies, nanoscale vests also doesn't really work, so there's really not much we can do. Make weapons available, yes please, giving him the traditional sword. And I think that the, that the crit chance on the weapon does not apply for the offhand, but I might be wrong. Can't... Uh, mm, can't hurt to take uh, the laser sight on the scatter gun with us to maybe increase his slashing chance. So we got two um, aggressive units um, and we essentially got Sonar here who's going to help with aid protocol. That's the only thing that he can do for the time being. Both of the ones that are going in are going to take uh, the med kits. Renman is just going to be a distraction. We cannot use anything on him. I don't have uh, the funds to enable him to do anything. Uh, for instance, uh, mm, uh, battle scanners would be nice. Uh, that could be a thing. Uh, I decided at this point we're probably not going to use um, the smoke grenades, although it would have been nice uh, to have them. Uh, then Renman would definitely be useful if we had smoke grenades. Anyways, here we go, guys. Perfect. So we are trying to smash and grab and get some crates. Even two crates should be enough to get 15 supplies. Which means that's what we're trying to do. Really just be very, very careful not to be spotted out for now. And then grab a few crates. Sona moves in. Renman has a very nice movement speed, so he might be the guy who's picking up the crates, to be honest. I can make it. And that's about the time when we're typically seeing the first like stun lances and other annoying enemies uh, pop up. Moving in double time. I've got enemy movement here. As if I would have programmed the game. Oh my gosh. Of course, stun lances. That's what else? A good decision. Renven. Moves up as well. Yeah, the pack with the stun lancers is going to be a massive problem for us. Maintaining position. Relatively speaking, just to kill them will be an absolute pain in the rear. Yeah, we cannot ignore them either. Overwatch wouldn't really help us, to be honest. So 
So my main question is... Can we move into... No, we cannot. Can we move to here? No, we cannot. I was hoping we could position ourselves like up here. And then hit this guy. That's not a kill. Hmm. Should we wait? I think the engagement is actually okay to start now. And hitting the stun lancer like this would also be okay. It's unfortunately just an 88% chance. And we're infamous uh, of missing those. But it worked out. We definitely got to get uh, those guys down. All right, killing this guy. That is fantastic. Two focus. Unfortunately, we triggered yet another pack. I don't want to deal with either of these guys. But if we're not continuing to stay there, we're going to be in trouble. Mainly because Steve out here oops, doesn't have a chance to evade. Hmm. Moving to here is an option. Very risky though. Yeah, this was unlucky let's put it this way there was a very very tiny chance that that pack here would catch up if i was to parry i'm going to take one shot two shots not sure if it's going to be another if it's going to be another uh step but elsewise, they are shooting into the open, which would be even worse. It's probably going to be a Holy Warrior into shoot, shoot. Um, and we're not in cover. That's the problem. That's not even half cover, right? Unless here is no cover. So can't really stay there. A protocoling. Moving closer to one of the crates, which we could use any of our explosives for anything, really. Um, no need to rush yet. The one thing that we can do is we can position ourselves over here. and just offer a different target, so to speak. You know what? Panic here wouldn't be too bad. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. That was lucky, very lucky. Stasis, stasis, stasis. All right, phone. I need to stop the recording for a second. All right, back. Sorry for that. Um, telephone in the middle of an important recording. What is happening? Yeah, so we got stasis um, on the surface. That doesn't look like a problem. But in reality, it is actually not so good for us. Mainly because the sector uh, here will have a 
uh, uh, will have a great chance with the reanimation uh, to uh, engage on him. We cannot save him from this situation. We got another Stun Lancer in here uh, that we should be able to deal with. Problem is really how to deal with that situation. I think we're going to take the 50-50 and try to deal with a sectoid here. Didn't kill him, but the stunning portion will destroy um, will destroy the undead. We're going to parry just in case. Are we going to be greedy? Is the question. This here could very well trigger another pack. But then again, I need one or two crates, and we cannot leave uh, these uh, things undefended, not for a prolonged amount of time. Can't get that one. Not really. Oh, by the way, I just learned this here is indeed half cover. What we can do is, oh, it's going to be funny. Uh, we're just going to use him as a body block, half cover, and hunker down. The stun lancer cannot run through us, so they will need to attack uh, Renden. And he's just going to stay there and body block. Oh, sneaky! Damn, you're sneaky. That was clever. And funny at the same time, like, hilarious. Alright, gotta deal with the Holy Warrior. That's a two-for-one kill. Right there. And uh, this here is shots into full cover. Ouch. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. Okay, he's still stunned. Renvin, come on, buddy. So what's the plan? We gotta deal with this guy here. Unfortunately, there's a pretty high chance that there will be a uh, well, one third, thirty-three percent. That there will be sustenance. But really can't just let him continue with that. Renman moves away. One thing is, we could deal with those guys here by just brute forcing our way through it, killing them. That actually would be a s solid strategy. I believe that that would be probably the most prudent call. Let's clean up the battlefield. Good All right. 
right moving to here therefore blocking the entrance Oh, nice. That was a fantastic crit. Just at the right time. Two for one, Hogbite. You're the man. Oh my god, the living legend returns. Sonar. Sonar. Sonar is just going to disengage. Okay, perfect. Good. Renvin continues to technically be a target, and that's about it. Sona can still uh, work from there with 8 protocol. It's probably going to be another mind spin. All right. Going to shoot? No, he's hunkering down. Well, that's fine. I can't avoid the attacks for much longer. All right. So, got to deal with the remainder of uh, these guys here. Starting. With a solid kill. Good job, Divad. You're getting there. And the living legend is on the hunt. And when Hogbite is on the hunt, the sectors need to be really careful. They are prey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guess who's regretting their life choices? Damn right, it's the sector. Okay, we're, we don't want to be too greedy. This here is cool, this was probably not going to work out. We got one, we can still get there next turn. No need to Understood. pull another pack. We're not in the position to really pull another pack. And Sonar is just taking cover. Pretty good mission so far. Let's see what else is going to wait for us. Okay, so moving up. This here, if we're not going to pre market. This is, of course, going to be our next target, but for now, we want Hogbite to catch up, which is why we're waiting for the living legend to move a bit closer. And here we go. Hungering down. All right, it's not surprising that we're seeing more crates being marked. Also not surprising for us to see them marked. Location confirmed. Well, counter marking and just being overall happy that that play worked out. <laughs> Good. Where else? We got another crate over here. Another crate over here. Probably one up here. Pretty sure the last spec is in there. Got a crate over here. Roger, holding. Standing fast. This is a safe position. 
And we got ourselves two additional crates. Fantastic. Hmm. It's probably a bit too aggressive. This here should be fine. Good to go. Everybody's holding their position. Can't get both of the crates. But we can mark this one. There's another crate here. All right, so far we're good. I'll wait here. Due to our lack in aggre uh, aggression potential, like our offense is not as strong as a normal four-man team. Gotta be a bit careful not to overdo it and commit too heavily. Okay, fair enough. There's more over there. You can always let Renman jump down here and take the crate, so I'm still trying to kind of maneuver us to the last tar uh, last pack. Interesting. On the move. Good to go. I'm wondering where the last pick is supposed to be located. Advent forces on the ground. Well, wonder no longer Saiken, you've just found them. And I think to celebrate that, going to kill one right away, and the other one is going to uh, take a little bit of a beating. Hopbite takes uh, the eight protocol. Renvin marks the supplies. And we're hunkering down. All right, the reanimation is actually pretty advantageous for us. We got to uh, we got to survive the stun lancer. Yep. And thanks to 8 protocol, that was the case. All right, moving one step. There's a chance for crit here.
Maximum damage, good. No crit, not so good. Alright, Hogbites again refueling. I want to make sure that he's not going to be targeted by the mind spin. So let's move him over here. Instead, what we can do is we can offer another target with Renvin. All he does is being a big fat mimic beacon. And the guy still found him. No! Oh. The guy still found him. Unbelievable. All right, panic is better than mind control. Duh, obviously it is. Melee vulnerability drives a lot of damage towards the sector. I'm going to give an April call here because the sector is now in a flanking position. Gotta appreciate that. Uh, they will not go for the um, panicked unit, but they will go for other units. All right, and we're back. My hard drive was full, so uh, the recording just ended. As I was saying, the panic unit will not be um targeted first we got a nice delayed protocol here which means renvin on the other side needs to just get the way uh, get the hell away so that the zombie will not reach him we're going to lose one more crate and we should be okay with the rest got much more uh, supplies that I would have ex uh, expected initially. Very nice. So, the plan worked out. And with the exception of one shot that they got in, we are... Definitely in a strong position. Let's give a divert here the kill. Trying to get him to a little bit higher rank as well. And yeah, overall, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Let's see if we can get a promotion out of it. And we are back at the base. Let's take a good look. Did we get any promotion? Oh yeah, nice. Well, gravely wounded for only 10 days. Uh, it could uh, be worse. He's probably shaken. And now what are we going to do? The one other reason why I would want to have the training center is the... Uh, hmm, the medic definitely is a great class which can benefit from both of the trees if i was to choose one with the limitation of not being able to take a rifle would i actually go for medical protocol medical protocol is super super good and we're yeah i would probably still go for medical protocol on the other hand combat protocol is good specifically with upcoming robotic enemies let's go combat protocol because that will bypass their armor and we don't have any good way of shredding speaking about which that will be a problem in the later stages of the game we have no blue screen rounds because there is no round whatsoever i don't think if that we have anything that is shredding no we don't the katana is bypassing armor 
but that's about it. Nice, 50 supplies, enough alloys to get a kick started, not enough Valerium crystals, pretty stingy here. Superior focus isn't bad, I like it. It's okay, maybe something for Hogbite to start with. And is Hogbite, he's still tired. I'm not going to give him the PCS because that might put him into shaken territory. He just needs to recover normally. But we got ourselves the supplies that we were, the alloys that we were looking for, which means plated armor all the way. Yes, skip that and go. We can move on to something else if you'd prefer. I can see why you would consider redirecting our efforts, Commander. We'll get to work on the new project right away. Black Market, uh, that is definitely valuable, but I would like to first of all get the supplies, then we can get the Black Market. Still not enough intel to, uh, to finish getting all of uh, the locations in North America, but for now we're okay. And that is good. That is very good. Look at that. Got two promotions right here. And we got an engineer. That's even more important. Even if that means wiping out entire camps of resistance supporters. We're their only line of defense. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. Wonderful. We got we got two rookies that are going to be promoted. Uh, might as well try to use it at this point. It's very likely that we're going to see another sharpshooter or another specialist. Let's uh, give Ro Roby here the 50-50. Ooh, Roby is indeed another ranger. That is fantastic. Let's also make sure that we're giving him a bit more serious, um, a bit more serious outfit. I like that he wants to show off his apps. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, that sort of looks better. That looks even even better. Okay, cool. So we got Roby. That's a good uh, addition to the team. Got three Rangers now. And we got Zoo Cougar. Promote him. Nice. Very nice, we got a second specialist. So in terms of loadout. Oh, he definitely looks like a specialist. Need to give him some more shiny colors. So yeah, I like it. Anyways, with him, available we got a second specialist and essentially three rangers so we can field a team if need be and with enough uh, supplies we can even upgrade squad size one so supplies should be our main focus now because having five instead of four soldiers is a huge advantage perfect got ourselves just the supplies that we need and thanks to Hogbite being an absolute beast, we already got the first upgrade here, squad size 2. So on the way, got another ranger in two days, which would bring us to a pretty solid count of four rangers, two specialists. So that's not bad. And let's get the black uh, market. Might be able to rush the armor uh, wait a second i just realized something oh no i thought we could do a covert ops uh, mission but we can't we're only getting one without the building and that's fine let's train another rookie so we got four rangers 
and only two specialists. I'll give uh, give us yet another specialist. And then probably another ranger. On the overall count, we would be good with quite a few like melee type characters. Not sure if we're just going to let quick feet uh, wait with quick feet if if we need yet another ranger then. I mean four rangers is plenty. I am not intending to continuously lose someone. So four rangers, three specialists, that's okay. I think that's a fair um, kind of pool of uh, soldiers that we do have. What we would need to do is get probably the skirmisher uh, as soon as possible. And skirmisher and yeah, psi operatives. Received word that the aliens have completed a facility Fair enough, to that's the first additional facility. We could contact make contact here with reduced contact costs and then essentially go there. But we don't have enough contacts overall. Got another 118. Should we go for the resistance ring? What would we need for the training center? bit more supplies I feel the training center also would be ve uh, a valuable add-on I have not built it too early lately but I can definitely see how the bonds and upgrades uh, to bonds can give us multiple attacks um, plus the ability to move away uh, from dangerous situations so there is a value in Kind of going that route as well 175 supplies as opposed to a hundred yeah let's get the black market here which should happen then we can sell and start the building that's delaying the whole process just by two days screen now you have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month Commander. okay so let's take a look still undying loyalty was there once we probably want to uh, catch it this time otherwise it goes through this here is nasty this here is also very nasty because we will rely on we will rely on mind control and on hacking so I probably would go um, and counter barrier first and deliberately let Undying Loyalty go through. Not, It's not fun to have uh, that event, but this here is not fun either. Wow, we're being hit pretty hard with, um, with events this time. we gain from working with the resistance factions on their covert operations are okay so gather supply there are also risks no our soldiers could no be attacked or taken captive while in the faction field. hero would be fantastic a decision as it may seem commander i've learned that we have new opportunities to strike at the are the reapers really worth it this operation is going to require some field experience commander we'll need to send one of our vets to lead the effort yeah getting the reaper for scouting purposes might be nice but it's really not doing much other than that claymores are banned remote start is banned banish is banned yeah what is the reaper contributing then doesn't even have um, a lot of um, slots in the inventory yeah, except scouting, not much. So I'm not sure if I want to go down that route. I would love to get um, the skirmisher, like I said, 
it, this is a very very valuable unit for us in this particular run and only thing we need to do is have someone available who could do it we don't unfortunately so putting a grenadier and one of our specialists because there is a hacking reward into it we'll at least get the hacking reward I think the Reaper is not the end of the world to have them. We'll get a couple of resistance orders on top of it. And the ones from the Reapers are usually quite good. And before I'm getting a lot of complaints why since again half a day no one was working um, to excavate. Because that's usually what happens when people are seeing that. Saiken, how could you forget about it? Yeah, it's half a day. I get it. Um, I get it. It's half a day, though. Uh, so we're clearing the machinery here. That's fine. Proving ground still continues to be built. That's okay as well. Might as well speed up. Tra uh, use these two to speed both of uh, the facilities up. I would like to get proving grounds earlier than later. And I definitely like to get the training facility in this run as well. On the other side, this here is a nice income boost. So it is more efficient overall if I could uh, just temper myself a bit more. Black market is here. That's fantastic. So let's see what we could do. We could get Elarium, which for the Psy run, uh, Psy um rush would be very very well, uh, valuable i think we're going to do that actually i like the idea of having more elarium crystals and we were nowhere close with the intel to make another push Infected corpses can be sold. I would keep two for the mine, uh, for at least one mine shield. Uh, but 50 supplies are good. That's exactly what we need. Officer corpse definitely superior focus for 60. Yeah, we're going to do that. Superior focus not that good. Couple of trooper corpses, enough to still. Keep them with us. Priest corpses can go. Repeater and the stock. We're actually not having weapons really. So might as well sell all of those. And instead use the money elsewhere. Air trigger is just the same. We don't need it in this run. But a nice little influx of money with all of the decisions that we just made and with that influx we can build the training center yeah we're just going to let it idle here and clear that's just more efficient we got still got two power left, so might as well do the resistance ring next afterwards. I think that that is fair. In terms of engineering, we got ourselves a nice little lead with 150. Could go for one mine shield. Love to have more faceless corpses for a mimic beacon. I also love to have enough supplies for the armor upgrade once we get it. So. Yeah, let's just wait for now. There's no urgent need to do something. The mine shield is good, but not absolutely essential. Well, it is actually quite good. I'll give uh, I'll give it that. Supplies, just so that we're on course. We have nothing else to scan for at this point. Cannot make contact because we're out of. 
we're out of intel that here would be helpful we need an engineer and we need intel so uh, that is actually pretty damn good and this is a pure lost mission if i'm not mis uh, misreading it recover resists operative um would be lost only how is our situation overall looking in the armory we got a hog by tired i'm not going to stress it more we're going to leave him uh, where he is we got devant we got roby we got zirkim that's three rangers that's pretty damn good the new uniform isn't bad considering but sometimes i do miss that damn sweater okay so one two three taking a sharpshooter four don't want to take quick feet because I don't want him to be promoted. We might be able to take Renvin because why not? And yeah, that should be five. Overall, played the armor 18 days. Our research is good. I like the scientists. Uh, that is working out well. We do have the right a set of classes with us that is good um, as well we do have moving ground and training center coming in towards the end of the month that should give us a lot more options specifically with the bonding and proving ground definitely could give us some options the skull check is um, is giving the specialist not only a hack bonus but also an option to actually kill enemies so uh, that is good here we're probably going into resistance ring and and then we could go all the way down to exposed power coil and like build this massive um this massive power reactor oh, not the bad not the worst idea uh, it would fit nicely these two here could be um side chambers and at some point we also need to increase our contact so it's probably resistance ring first and then two psi chambers they are pretty hungry in terms of energy as well so might as well have another energy here but yeah that looks like a solid build order i think we're okay here anything else low intel nope that is not a problem not for now we're going to get 80 intel which is enough to make contact and that's all that counts uh, with contact we're going to again increase our income potentially even get a uh, continent, uh, continent bonus and then we're on the right track if you enjoy the content if you enjoy uh, the challenge then leave a comment down below and don't forget to like the video thank you so much and take care bye bye